Hello everyone. Well, in this video, I am going to discuss about the query parameters. To explain the concept of query parameters, let us take an example. So in our test application, we have a get endpoint. When we send the get request, it returns the entire data which is present in the test application. Now let us assume that I want to receive the subset of the data which is present in the test application. And the subset of data is totally depend upon the filter criteria. That means based on certain property and its value, the data should be filtered and written back to me. In such scenarios, query parameters comes into the picture. So along with the request, I will specify some parameter and its value. And this request is then sent to the server. Server is going to use the additional information to filter out the data and then respond back with the filter data. So let me show you one more example that is the YouTube web page. So this is the YouTube web page. Just pay attention to the URL. In the search bar, I am going to search for my YouTube channel. If you notice the URL, you can see here there is an additional string which is appended with the YouTube URL. And this is called query parameter in which there is a property and there is a value. And based on this property value, the data is filtered. In our test application, we have a separate endpoint which use the query parameter concept to filter the data. And this is the endpoint. This endpoint takes two query parameters. The first is the job ID and second one is the job title. And based on that, it will return the data back to us. So first, let me show you the working of this endpoint with the help of Postman. So first, I'm going to create a job entry inside our test application. And this is the job ID. After that, I'm going to send the get request, which takes the query parameters. So this is the base URL. And this is the context path for the endpoint. In order to specify the query parameter, just go to the params tab and then specify the query parameter in the form of key and value, where the key represent the property name and value represent the property value. So the first parameter key is ID and its value is this. And the second parameter name is job title. And this is the value for that. So as you can see here, the request URL has been updated. After the question mark, both the query parameter are attached to the request URL with the corresponding value. So when I send this request to the server, server is going to use this two parameter to filter out the data. And we get the response. In the similar manner, let me try with other parameter value. So in the response, we are getting the filtered data. And let me specify the ID, which is not present in the application. In that case, we will get 404 because with this filter criteria, there is no record present in our test application. Now let us see how you can send the get request with the query parameter to our test application using the Karate framework. So inside the package that is get request, I'm going to create one more child package. And let me call it as query parameters. Inside this package, I'm going to add the feature file. And let me call it as query parameter dot feature. Inside this feature file, first I will use the feature keyword, specify the small title and a short description. After this, I will use the background section to initialize the base URL. After this, I will create the scenario. So this is the scenario which I'm going to automate. First, using the post request, I will create the job entry. And using the endpoint which takes the query parameter, I will try to fetch the job entry which we just created. So in order to create the new job entry, I can reuse my helper feature file. So let me copy this to a statement to our current feature file. This is going to generate random job ID for us. And then I will call the helper feature file to create the new job entry. Now in order to specify the complete path, let me go to the directory of this package. 
so this is the directory in which our feature file is there double dot operator which will take us to this package and one more double dot operation which will take us to the parent package and inside which we have our helper feature file double dot slash double dot and the name of the feature file and for this feature file we need to specify multiple set of parameter values so I will specify them in the form of JSON object and the third parameter is underscore ID as this is a JSON object so I need to specify the parameter value in the form of embedded expression after this I'm going to send the get request with the query parameter to search for this job entry which we created so given keyword path and this is the context path for the endpoint in Karate framework if I want to specify the query parameter I need to use the param keyword so and param keyword this is the keyword which will tell the Karate framework that following are the query parameter which should be attached with the request and then I need to specify the query parameter in the form of property name and its value so this is the first parameter name and its value so let me change the name of this variable to something else as we are using the ID as a parameter name in our query parameters so just to avoid the confusion I will just change this variable name as something else so as I mentioned earlier this is not a JSON object so I can use the variable directly here and then I will specify the second parameter which is job title and its value is this after this I will specify the header and headers then I am going to send the request and then validate the status code also I will add the validation on the response so response dot job ID it should be equal to this ID after that I am going to create the runner for this feature file and let me run this runner so our scenario is passing so in this scenario as you can see here as we have two parameters that's why we need to use two statement to specify the query parameters you can also combine the multiple query parameter in the single statement so let me just comment out this two statement and this will be replaced with and params and then you need to specify the query parameter in the form of JSON object So as this is a JSON object, I need to use the embedded expression for the variable. So basically when you have multiple query parameters, you can specify them in a single statement like this. Now make sure that you use the keyword as params with S. And let me rerun the runner. So our scenario is passing 
So let me add one more scenario for another use case in which we receive the status code as 404. So let me create a duplicate copy of this scenario. So I'll just remove the statement and uncomment this too. And I'll just provide any random value. So in this case, the status code should be 404. And let me run the runner. So both of our scenario are passing. So in this manner, you can attach the query parameter along with the request. Mm -hmm.